Hey there, Christian here from KMC New York. Hope you're doing well. Uh, wanted to give you a few updates. As you can see, the snow has completely melted off of the temple roof. That indicates a big change in season. Uh, I could definitely say, uh, as one of the residents here, it is nice to have the warmer weather. Now, after 10 weeks of winter retreat, we're now transitioning back to opening up to the public. There's a few ways that we tailor to the public's needs. Of course, we have the temple open now. People have been coming back in person, uh, look, you know, going into the cafe, enjoying the shop, going into the temple. Uh, starting next week, we'll have our Wednesday class uh, start back in person. That'll be April 7th, and then as well as Purse World Peace. But a few things coming up. So as you might be aware of, we have an Avalokiteshvara empowerment, Thousand Armed Avalokiteshvara, with teachings on developing our Buddha nature. So Kanam Kyle, uh, now that he's our second resident teacher, he's going to be granting this empowerment, which is something really special because for many years, we've just had roughly three empowerments per year. We've had the U.S. Festival, now this year in June, like we did last year, the Northeast Dharma Celebration, which happens in September, and then uh, Ginsampton's empowerment and retreat at the end of the year uh, after Christmas. So now we have an additional empowerment right after winter retreat. Kanam Kyle uh, is granting this empowerment. It'll be his first empowerment here at the temple. Uh, he used to be the resident teacher in Rhode Island and also in Boston. So it's such a pleasure to have him here. And since he has been a part of this community, uh, it's just been so valuable to have two resident teachers. Uh, not that often that I get to say that. And um, this is a nice way for us as KMC New York to reopen with an empowerment. It's kind of signifying that something special is really happening. And with this year, with so many changes, um, hopefully as the year progresses, we'd like to become more open to the public and be able to get it back to like it used to be. Um, but of course, for this empowerment, we'll be doing both in person and live stream. Uh, so if you want to come in person, you've missed the temple, the weather, weather's warming up, it's a great opportunity. Um, even if you're a drive away, you know, drive away, I'd highly recommend it. It's so beautiful right now. Um, I'm saying this, of course, as it's raining, but again, this is a pleasant rain. Um, but also, yeah, if you want to stay connected with the temple by uh, live streaming, you can live stream this empowerment. We'd love to have the kind of collective energy uh, come together this Saturday. And then a great way to segue out of the Empowerment Weekend, so that's April 2nd through the 4th, is we're doing our annual Nugne uh, Purification Retreat. So this is something that we do to celebrate Buddha's Enlightenment Day. So we celebrate April 15th as the day that Buddha attained enlightenment. And so if you've never done this practice before, it's very special. It happens over two days. Uh, starting with April 13th, uh, again, Samton will give an introduction to Nugne Retreat. Uh, what does it entail? And then Saturday and Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's what I meant. Wednesday, Thursday. We'll do um, our purification. We'll take precepts in the morning. We'll do three sessions each day of a practice called Drop of Essential Nectar where we make uh, prayers to thousand-armed Avalokiteshvara, as well as prostrations. This is a, such a beautiful practice. And so uh, it, it kind of goes hand in hand to have this empowerment weekend, receiving the blessings of thousand-armed Avalokiteshvara, and then doing Nungne fasting retreat. Oh yeah, Diane also mentioned that this is a fasting retreat. <laughs> so um, you can fast at home, but also you can come here as well to the Nungne retreat. So if I were you, I would, I would try to do both if you can. Uh, it definitely uh, complements each other, both of them, very nicely. Uh, and then at the end of the month, we have uh, Kam Lucy and Gin Samton co-leading a emptiness retreat called No Self, and that will be April 23rd through the 28th. So Kam Lucy will live stream from KMC Colorado in Denver. And then Gin Samton, of course, will be here. And if you want to, you can come in person. We'll have uh, the retreat sessions live. You can come in here in person, and then we'll put up a We'll put up a TV screen in the temple for all of Kanam Lucy's sessions, the one that she's guiding. So it'll be really nice. Um, but really, April is one of those months that kicks off everything and really sets the tone for the rest of the year. So the first three months of our program, uh, we spend time going inward, focusing on retreat, developing our own special practice. But then in April, um, kind of the community of KMC New York opens its doors and welcomes the public again. 
with that kind of um, renewed energy. So this is, this is kind of our dedication for the rest of the year, is um, uh, opening our grounds, opening our programs to the public. So I hope you can join in any or all of those uh, events. Um, but of course, please check out the website. We're constantly updating about what's happening. Um, May is quickly around the, co around the corner. And then before you know, uh, it'll be just so beautiful here. So and if you can't go to any of these events, I highly even just recommending uh, coming here for a day. You know, we have beautiful trails. We have the pond. Of course, the temple is open on the weekends. Um, it's it just, it just nice to spend uh, an, an afternoon here or maybe even stay here. We definitely have accommodations. So if you wanna stay on site for any of these programs that I mentioned, um, please get in contact with, with us. Uh, even though right now we have limited accommodation, if you contact us as soon as possible, who knows, you might be having breakfast with me. <laughs> uh, anyways, so uh, that's my update. Hope you'll have a fantastic rest of your week. Thank you. <laughs>